Renewable natural gas RNG, also known as sustainable natural gas SNG or biomethane, is a biogas which has been upgraded to a quality similar to fossil natural gas and having a methane concentration of 90% or greater. A biogas is a gaseous form of methane obtained from biomass. By upgrading the quality to that of natural gas, it becomes possible to distribute the gas to customers via the existing gas grid within existing appliances. Renewable natural gas is a subset of synthetic natural gas or substitute natural gas SNG. Renewable natural gas can be produced and distributed via the existing gas grid, making it an attractive means of supplying existing premises with renewable heat and renewable gas energy, while requiring no extra capital outlay of the customer. Renewable natural gas can be converted into liquefied natural gas LNG for direct use as fuel in transport sector. LNG pricing compete with gasoline or diesel as it can replace these fuels in the transport sector. The existing gas network allows distribution of gas energy over vast distances at a minimal cost in energy. Existing networks would allow biogas to be sourced from remote markets that are rich in low-cost biomass Russia or Scandinavia for example. The UK National Grid believes that at least 15% of all gas consumed could be made from matter such as sewage, food waste such as food thrown away by supermarkets and restaurants and organic waste created by businesses such as breweries. In the US, analysis conducted in 2011 by the Gas Technology Institute determined that renewable gas from waste biomass including agricultural waste has the potential to add up to 2.5 quadrillion BTU annually, being enough to meet the natural Natural gas needs of 50% of American homes, in combination with power to gas, whereby the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide fraction of biogas are converted to methane using electrolyzed hydrogen. The renewable gas potential of raw biogas is approximately doubled. Many ways of methanizing carbon dioxide, monoxide, and hydrogen exist, including biomethanation, the Sabatier process, and a new electrochemical process pioneered in the United States currently undergoing trials. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Manufacturing. A biomass to SNG efficiency of 70% can be achieved. Costs are minimized by maximizing production scale and by locating an anaerobic digestion plant next to transport links e.g. a port or river for the chosen source of biomass. The existing gas storage infrastructure would allow the plant to continue to manufacture gas at the full utilization rate even during periods of weak demand, helping minimize manufacturing capital costs per unit of gas produced. Renewable gas can be produced through three main processes. Anaerobic digestion of organic normally moist material Thermal gasification of organic normally dry material Production through the Sabatier reaction. In these cases, the gas from primary production has to be upgraded in a secondary step to produce gas that is suitable for injection into the gas grid. Commercial development Biosyn Gopbog Energy opened the first demonstration plant for large-scale production of bio-SNG through gasification of forest residues in Gothenburg, Sweden within the Gobigas project. The plant had the capacity to produce 20 MW worth of biosyn from about 30 MW worth of biomass, aiming at a conversion efficiency of 65%. From December 2014 the Biosing plant was fully operational and supplied gas to the Swedish natural gas grid, reaching the quality demands with a methane content of over 95%. The plant was permanently closed due to economic problems in April 2018. Gotbog Energy had invested €175 million Euro in the plant and intensive attempts for a year to sell the plant to new investors had failed. It can be noted that the plant was a technical success, and performed as intended. However, natural gas is at a very low price given market conditions globally. 
It is expected the plant is to re emerge around 2030 when economic conditions may be more favorable, with the possibility of a higher carbon price. SNG is of particular interest in countries with extensive natural gas distribution networks. Core advantages of SNG include compatibility with existing natural gas infrastructure, higher efficiency that Fisher Tropsch fuels production, and smaller production scale than other second generation biofuel production systems. The Energy Research Center of the Netherlands has conducted extensive research on large-scale SNG production from woody biomass, based on the importation of feedstocks from abroad. Renewable natural gas plants based on wood can be categorized into two main categories, one being a lothermal, which has the energy provided by a source outside of the gasifier. One example is the double-chambered fluidized bed gasifiers consisting of a separate combustion and gasification chambers. Autothermal systems generate the heat within the gasifier, but require the use of pure oxygen to avoid nitrogen dilution. In the UK, NNFCC found that any UK biosync plant built by 2020 would be highly likely to use clean woody feedstocks and that there are several regions with good availability of that source. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Upgraded biogas. In the UK, using anaerobic digestion is growing as a means of producing renewable biogas, with nearly 90 biomethane injection sites built across the country. Ecotricity announced plans to supply green gas to UK consumers via the national grid. Centrica also announced that it would begin injecting gas, manufactured from sewage, into the gas grid. In Canada, Fortis BC, a gas provider in British Columbia, injects renewably created natural gas into its existing gas distribution system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Sustainable synthetic natural gas. Sustainable SNG is produced by high temperature oxygen blown slagging co gasification at 70 to 75 bars pressure of biomass or waste residue. The advantage of a wide range of feedstocks is that much larger quantities of renewable SNG can be produced compared with biogas, with fewer supply chain limitations. A wide range of fuels with an overall biogenic carbon content of 50 to 55 percent is technically and financially viable. Hydrogen is added to the fuel mix during the gasification process, and carbon dioxide is removed by capture from the purge gas slipstream syngas cleanup and catalytic methanation stages. Large-scale sustainable SNG will enable the UK gas and electricity grids to be substantially decarbonized in parallel at source, while maintaining the existing operational and economic relationship between the gas and electricity grids. Carbon capture and sequestration can be added at little additional cost, thereby progressively achieving deeper decarbonization of the existing gas and electricity grids at low cost and operational risk. Cost-benefit studies indicate that large-scale 50% biogenic carbon content sustainable SNG can be injected into the high-pressure gas transmission grid at a cost of around 65p. Therm. At this cost, it is possible to reprocess fossil natural gas, used as an energy input into the gasification process, into 5 to 10 times greater quantity of sustainable SNG. Large-scale sustainable SNG, combined with continuing natural gas production from UK continental shelf and unconventional gas, will potentially enable the cost of UK peak electricity to be decoupled from international oil-denominated take-or-pay gas supply contracts. Applications Electricity generation Space heating Process heating Biomass with carbon capture and storage Transportation fuel Environment In contrast to being renewable, biogas creates similar environmental pollutants as ordinary natural gas fuel, such as carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, hydrogen sulfide and particulates. Any unburned gas that escapes contains methane, a long-lived greenhouse gas. 
The key difference from ordinary natural gas is that it is often considered partly or fully carbon neutral. The carbon dioxide contained in the biomass is naturally renewed in each generation of plants, rather than being released from fossil stores and increasing atmospheric carbon dioxide. See also Biogas power plant Biofuel Carbon neutral fuel Landfill gas utilization Renewable energy Sustainable energy Issues relating to biofuels <laughs>